Hello again. In this video, I'm going to look at the accelerometers in the DS versions of the transmitter. I believe the DCs don't have them. And using the flight timers along with the accelerometers and multiple flight timers. This is the timer setup I have on a multiplex Kularis electric glider. You can see at the top I have a motor timer, which is a countdown timer for the battery because there isn't space in the model to fit one of the um, electric sensors, which I fit to all my other electric models, which are well worth doing. If you haven't fitted a, an MUI to one of your model electric models, then do so. They are excellent. And below that you can see the flight timer, which is the total flight time since the start of the flight. And the way these work is both as soon as I open the throttle, the motor timer starts counting down and the flight timer starts counting up. And when I close the throttle, the motor timer stops because I'm not using the battery anymore. But of course, the flight timer carries on. Now, the motor timer will give me the usual announcements at, you know, three minutes, two minutes, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, that kind of thing. The flight timer, if I'm curious to know how long I've been flying for, I simply do this with the transmitter. Timer, 33.1 seconds. So let's have a look at how we get the accelerometers and timers to do these things. We go into menu, down in timers. There is the motor timer. It's a standard timer, which means that it switches on and off. Initial value is 3 minutes 30 seconds. That means it'll count downwards. If you have initial value of 0, it'll count upwards. The target value of 0, that's where it'll beep. Timer type, standard, that means I say it switches on and off each time the, the throttle point. Report type, voice. Uh, if you have beep, then all you get is beeps, but voice means it'll actually speak the times to you, like one minute, whatever. And the switch is P4, uh, and it's set to switch just after you come off uh, idle power. No need for a reset switch, but it'll reset back to 3 minutes 30 when we switch the transmitter off and on again. All flight modes, and there we go. The flight timer, uh, this one has an initial value of zero, so it's counting up, and it's free running rather than standard. That means once it's been started, it will keep going. It won't stop when we close the throttle. Uh, no need for a report type because I'll be using something else to make it speak the time out to me. Once again, same switch P4 to switch it on and off, and the reset will be when we switch the transmitter on and off. So, having set up the motor timer standard, I say we can just leave that alone. We've set it to voice reports, so it will give the standard jetty voice reports in the countdown. How do we get the flight timer to give me those reports? If we go to voice output, we've set the timer to flight time. That's why it's important in the timers menu to Give your, each timer a name, because if you come to something like this, you've got to select it. And if you haven't given it a name, there's a blank. So, you know, which of the two blanks would I select in this case? Now, the switch is G, Y, and there's an X against it, which means it's off. If I tilt the transmitter, you see it change to a tick. Timer, three minutes, one second. And it speaks out the flight time. Total time since we opened the throttle initially. Let's have a look at how we get into that then. Move to switch GY. Select input control. Uh, if we clear it, so we want to go to this, select the accelerometer. And if I move the transmitter around, if I tilt it, Timer, 3 minutes, 37 seconds. You see it's the y-axis that's moving. If I bank, you see it's the x-axis that's moving. And if I rotate it, you see it's the z-axis that's moving. So it's obviously the y-axis that I want. Choose that. Now, 
Where's the switch on point? This is the big change that's come in software version 5.03. Uh, if you're using previous to that, uh, it'll rely purely on the switching point in the menu sticks and switches setup. But this bit is new for us. Now, to set these, uh, you can use the dial to set the point. You see it's changing, switch on point. Or move the stick to where you want the switch on point to be, see there, and press this button here. And that will set the switch point to wherever this what am I talking about? It's not this, the stick, of course. It's the rotation. I'll move the transmitter to about that sort of angle. And now if I press the button, F1, it will set the switch to that point. There we go. So, less tilt, GY is off. Reach that point, GY switches on. If you want to change that point to something steeper, bring it up to here. Keep Timer, going. 5 minutes, 24 seconds. Press the F1 button, it'll set to the new switch point. So we can say OK. Say OK to that, come out of there. As we can see, flight timer still running, 5.44. Tilt it. Timer, 5 minutes, 46 seconds. So as I'm flying around and I want to know how long I've been up for, I just... Timer, 5 minutes, 53 seconds. And I've got my readout. Hope that was interesting to you.